Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to manage the priority of a process. So we'll understand what are the nice levels related to a process and how to change the nice levels, which will then directly impact the priority of a process. Now we know that in a system, there are limited number of CPUs, but there are many more processes which are supposed to be managed by the system. So we have to schedule those processes on those limited number of CPUs. So let's suppose there's only one CPU and there are 10 processes which are running in the system. So you need to schedule those processes in some order so that they are processed one by one. The most common criteria will be the priority. So you sign a priority to any process, higher the priority, the process will be scheduled first as compared to the process which is having lower priority. So we are going to learn how to change the priority levels by using the nice command. To manage the nice levels, we are going to use the nice command. As I have already briefed you that there can be many processes in the system. So we need to schedule those processes so that each process is able to get the CPU time. Now the job to schedule these processes is given to a component of the operating system which is called the scheduler. So the scheduler is the one which will schedule the processes one by one for the CPU. The schedulers are of three types long term scheduler, short term scheduler and medium term scheduler. It doesn't matter which scheduler we are talking about the logic will or can apply to all those schedulers. Now every process will be given certain priority and based on that priority the system will decide when to schedule the process. Now if you look at the diagram here the priority levels or the nice levels will range from minus 20 to 19. So in total there are 40 nice levels in the system or in a Linux system. Depending upon the nice level the process is assigned a priority. So if you look at the figure minus 20 is on the left. So this is the lowest nice level. Lower the nice level, higher is the priority. This is a common confusion. Just remember lower the nice level, higher is the priority. So this means any process whose nice level is minus 20 is having the highest priority. And any process whose nice level is 19 is having the lowest priority. So positive numbers are having lower priority, negative numbers are having higher priority. Always remember the priority number, lower the priority number, higher is the priority. So zero as a priority number means highest priority. And 40 in the priority means lowest priority. Okay, so just uh, go through these concepts because you might get confused. Key thing is lower the nice level, higher is the priority. The nice levels range from minus 20 to plus 19. The priority numbers range from 0 to 40 where 0 is the highest priority, 40 is the least priority. Now the next question comes, who can set these nice levels? If every user is given the liberty to set the nice levels, then obviously everyone will want his or her process to have the highest priority. So everyone will assign minus 20 nice level to all his or her processes. So this will not be very conducive for the system. So the nice levels can be changed by the root user. The root user can assign any nice level. Whereas a normal user or a regular user can only set positive nice levels or whatever is the default nice level, the regular user can only increase that nice level cannot lower that. Okay, so I will show you this with example. The default nice level for any process is 10. Okay, so by default, even if you don't assign so far whichever process you have executed or the command that you have executed, you have never assigned a nice level. So what is the nice level they are getting? That is 10. Okay, so now there are different commands with which we can check the nice levels. One of them, if you remember in the last lecture was top. It shows you the nice levels here. You can see nice level and I along with that priority number is also given. So both these values are visible here. 
to set the nice level of a process to begin with you need to use the nice command so whenever you want to explicitly assign the nice value use the nice command minus n option will help you to give a number so let's suppose the nice level i want is 5 for the process sleep so let's run it in the background so that we are able to check the nice level at real time okay the process id is 2708 so now if i use the lax option remember this shows you the nice levels grip sleep so 2708 nice level is 5 okay now i can also update this nice level at real time so the process is still running renice is the command to change the nice level minus n so let's change it to minus 5 for 2708 so you need to write the process id okay so it shows that the new priority is minus 5 old was 5 let's check once again so now you can see that the priority is minus 5 we can also find this using the top command but for that we need to we might need to filter it out because you can see it's not clearly visible here so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to shift the terminal login as a normal user regular user okay so now i've already shown you how to use nice and renice using the root user account so let me redo it this time using the regular user account so remember regular user can only give positive nice levels not negative nice levels so let's assign the nice level 15 again to a process let's suppose 200 sleep now i'm going to check it from the root user account so even if i do run it in the background or the foreground will not matter as such so i've run this here on the student terminal i'm going back to the root use stop filter the processes based upon the user so use the u option then write student and you can see here at the end last entry so this nice level 15 that i have assigned to the process sleep pid you can verify 2855 all right so this way you can check now the important point is can the regular user update this so let's do it shift back so this is where the regular user was using the process now since it is in the foreground so i will not be able to do anything so we need to push it in the background so control z background pg percentage one okay so it has started nice level is 15 so let's try to change this re-nice minus n first i will give a positive number so from 15 i am shifting it to 2 nice level should be 2 for the process id is so we need to know the process id let's list all the processes re-nice minus n 2 and the id is 2855 fail to get set the priority permission denied okay what we are trying to do is i am trying to increase the priority which is not possible okay so let's give it 19 now you are able to do it why because if we allow this if we allow regular users to increase the priority everyone will try to do it okay you can check this you can see here it is changed to 18 so top will update all the uh, attributes of the process in real time so it has changed the nice level to 18 coming back to the regular user one last point now i was able to start the process by giving a random priority number but a positive one can i start a process with the negative nice level from a regular user let's try to do it nice minus n so let's suppose minus 2 i try for process 150 the background so you can see here cannot set niceness permission denied why 
because a regular user cannot set negative lice levels to any process okay if i repeat this for a positive value that positive value can be anything then that is fine right so you are able to do it so this is the only key point to remember root user can assign any nice level can change to any nice level whereas regular users can in the beginning use any positive nice levels only even while using re nice a regular user cannot increase the priority okay so the nice level cannot decrease the number cannot decrease from the original one but it can only increase to a higher number so i hope that the use of nice command is clear in the next video we are going to talk about how to schedule tasks in the future using the cron command